All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your boy, Mankota. You know, quite recently, we've been hearing about um, a scheme that is going on in Sierra Leone for people who are arriving into the country. And uh, according to the information we have, um, the government has, you know, created a portal that uh, every arrival uh, should register and pay some kind of fees for testing, um, you know, for COVID-19 in Lungi airports. So, I don't know, I never actually spoke to any of uh, the government officials, but uh, based on the information I already got, I just wanna, you know, try to test this process and see, and see how this works and try to get a, an understanding of what is going on because uh, a lot of people are not happy because of uh, the fact that uh, your arrival, you have to be tested which is a very great thing, a very good thing. But the testing, you have to pay for your tests. And after that, they will have to, um, you know, quarantine you for I don't know how many days until uh, the tests uh, come back. So let's first start to understand the process. Now, uh, I am now on my laptop, okay? So we can do it together. And uh, I'm going to do this. I'm not trying to break into the system. What I will do is I will just try to, you know, use the system to see how it works and how much this is going to cost us. All right. I am now on my um, laptop. So I think the address for this, you know, process is called www.travel.gov. Dot sl i think that's that's the correct address I may, I, may, I may be wrong yeah that's the correct address now here is uh the sierra leone the new travel portal address a uh, website that you have to register uh before you actually arrive if you are going to the country or before you leave so now let's let's let, let's go through the arrival process uh, i think that is the most important thing for now maybe it's going to be the same thing also so you have to click um, the arrival button and uh, in Sierra Leone, then um, now let's say we are coming from the United Kingdom. I am not actually in the United Kingdom. I'm just trying to uh, do some fake stuff here and see. All right, the United Kingdom. Then if you are using a special flight like a uh, a chatter flight you can actually put this and uh, the flight name let's say um kill him all right and the number let's put uh one two four three six okay and let's put the depart dates to be the 29th of august and register to travel now this is after you um, you actually finish the first step. This is where it's gonna take you. The itineraries. Let's put the name. I'm just gonna put my name here. And uh, oh, you know what? Let me just put this. I think this is gonna work. No? Let me just put. Yeah, let's try this. Yeah, this works. All right. The gender is male. The date of birth. I'm going to put any uh, fake date of birth. The month, March, the year. Um, I'm gonna, just going to put uh, 1985. The passport documents, I can put uh, A, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 1. Let me, I'm just trying to test this uh, program. I'm not trying to break into the portal. Actually, I'm just trying to test how it's gonna work for me. Upload the passport doc. I I don't know, but uh, let me see if I can upload any picture here. Um, maybe I can upload this, right? I'm just gonna give, give the back. Upload COVID certificate. Um, I can upload anything here. Let me go to documents. Or oh, let me go to download. 
I can just upload uh, maybe this uh, PDF will work for me let's see how it works uh, maybe it works now uh, that's I'm now on the uh, personal information right so I think that's do you have any child I leave it as it is and now go to next now I'm, I'm now on the contact information so I gotta put my uh, country let me just put United Kingdom again okay wow okay so the email is uh, I'm gonna put uh, uh, travel at gmail.com I don't know um, this is gonna be um, I'm just trying to see I'm not gonna complete the, the information okay uh, let me put the address here um, so let me put uh, three one two four north Belfast road okay do you have a local contact i leave this at it is now let's see how that works okay this is the most important thing that i want you guys to see you will be required to pay 80 dollars upon completion of your application as fee for covid 19 test submit and proceed this is where we have a problem now you're gonna pay for your test for 80 bucks 80 dollars you know for this particular test imagine if you have a, a child so it's gonna be times two eighty dollars times two let's say you have a uh, uh, you uh three people you know so times three eighty times three so this is this is really 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 just too much this is really really too much this is why a lot of people are grumbling that uh, the government is trying to you know use covid 19 to you know uh, get money from people who are going to Sierra Leone. This is not this this is supposed to be something that is not uh, supposed to happen. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is um, the information that uh, I just wanted to share with you and see how this actually works. Eighty dollars. So it is correct. Thank you.